Jerome, Epistola ad Innocentem Presbuterum, Episode 1. Saipa a me, Innocenti Carissime, postulasti ut de eis, miraculo rei, quae nostra maitatem inciderat, non tacerem, cumque ego id veracunde et vera, ut nunc experior, negarem meque ad sequi posse defiderem. Jerome begins his letter to his friend Innocent, the Presbuterum, the elder, this way, Saipa Ame. This is one of Jerome's first letters. It's the first in the corpus, and some say that it is the first of Jerome's writings to have survived. It was written when he was near the town of Aquileia, shown on the map. Often from me, Ame, Innocenti Carissime. This is masculine, singular, and vocative. Innocentius is the man's name. Innocentius, and when a name ends in an I, a second declension ends in an I, the vocative is formed with a simple I like this. So the vocative of Lucius, for example, is Luci, whereas the vocative of Marcus is Marca, because the stem does not end in an I, and so forth. Carissime is a superlative adjective from Carus, and it also is in the vocative. You ask for me, my dearest friend Innocent, you postulasti, you have asked from me often. And postulasti is this form, postulawisti. The verb postulo is first conjugation, postulo postulare, and it has been syncopated. This syllable has been dropped, as is often the case in the perfect tense for simplicity. So the full form given in a lexicon is postulawisti, but as is often the case, this is dropped and it ends up being postulasti. Thus, amawisti can be simply amasti, and so forth. So, you have often asked me, my dearest innocent, ut, that, takerem, ut non takerem, that I should not keep silent. Takerem is first singular, imperfect, subjunctive, and active. That I should not keep silent de miraculo concerning the miracle or the wonder, the amazing thing, eus rei, the amazing aspect of that event. Eus rei is feminine, singular, and genitive. The Romans loved to use this noun race for a variety of purposes. The word itself, you might say, almost has no meaning innately, but it means whatever it has to in the context. It's like a blank in a game of Scrabble. It takes on the meaning that it needs to in context, or it's like a variable in an algebraic equation. So you have asked me often that I should not keep silent, non takerem, about the amazing aspect of that event, quae in nostrum aitatem inciderat, excuse me, which took place or which occurred in nostrum aitatem, in our own time. Inciderat is a pluperfect indicative active third singular. Its subject is quae, the antecedent of which is rei, and it is the verb in kido. He says, and, although I, cum ego, cum with the subjunctive negarem and defeaterem, although I was denying or refusing to do that, it is the object, referring to this previous part, I was refusing to do it, veracunde, with modesty, and truthfully, as I now feel, or now believe, I was denying it, and, that's the qua, connecting negarum and defeaterum, and because I was not confident, or I did not think that may possa, that I was able to achieve it. He's going to go on to say in the rest of the sentence that now he has decided, in fact, to describe it. And we'll pick up with that next time and review this portion.